well, 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 well. What do we have here? Android 12 Beta 2.1 working like a boss on the Xiaomi Poco F1. What's up, peeps? Munchy here, back with another video. And guess what? We have Android 12 Beta 2.1. Security patch June 2021, Colonel Genos. So yes, thanks to Adil for bringing us another great build. This is how it comes out of the box. You do have pixel launcher, new UI in the building, select working like a boss, screenshot in the building as well. No issues. This is how your recents are going to look like. And if you press and hold on any application in the recent, the option you get is app info, split screen and pause app. But as you can see, the options are now smaller and they do look more elegant. Next up, let us have a look at the volume panel. So here it is. This is how your new volume panel in Android 12 looks like. You want to have a look at the quick settings also bam here it is new quick settings monet ui in the building and with beta 2.1 you do get the camera access and mic access quick setting tiles as well along with the device controls this is going to give you access to the smart home devices if you have any of those connected with your phone next up let us press and hold on the empty space go into widgets yep you do get the Android 12 widgets along with the conversations widget as well. And of course, Android 12 is a big UI change. So the widgets do look pretty cool. Then if you go into wallpaper and style, yes, they have renamed it to wallpaper and style from styles and wallpapers. Here is your pixel five style UI and you have monet working so if i try to change or if i change the wallpaper then the accent color will also switch to the dominant color in your wallpaper so here it is we now have a purplish accent color there it is which is matching with the purple women's day wallpaper power menu yes you get the new power menu as well and another change you might notice is that you no longer have something called Wi-Fi because internet can be anything, right? So you have the name internet over here. And of course you do have your brightness slider and the edit button, the settings and the power menu can be accessed from the quick settings as well. Your notifications of course are going to show up over there. And another thing, let me go to the files application and try to play a piece of music. So here it is, live caption of course is working, but the thing you will notice is that the quick settings media player is now a bit smaller. So in my opinion, it does look a bit more elegant. Next up, moving over to the lock screen. Of course, double tap to wake in the building, working without any issues. The media player notification here is also smaller and only if I can dismiss it, there it is. Once you dismiss it, you do get the new clock as well. So the digits are bigger and your day and the date are on the top left of the clock. Next up, let us jump over to the settings. So this is the new UI and of course with beta 2.1, they have added the details or the small text below the main option back to give you an explanation as to what is inside those options. Now when you install the rom for the first time you might notice that there is a little lag in the ui but again give it some time to settle in update all your applications from the play store and then you should be good to go so with 2.1 another change they have made is that the main or the prominent option is now highlighted so if i go into battery saver here it is you will see that use battery saver right this option is highlighted has a bigger toggle similarly if i go into the developer options so system and developer options the main option is like highlighted accent color is the monet ui or that from the wallpaper and the toggle is also bigger then of course with android 12 other than the new ui google is also pushing towards your privacy so if you go into 
privacy you do have a privacy dashboard herein it will tell you that what has accessed your location camera and microphone in the last 24 hours so this is your dashboard for me camera access is there and you can see used by one app if i tap on it it will tell me the application which accessed it so open camera and i can also go into manage permissions and here it is these are the permissions which can be managed so this is for camera only so right so all the applications which have access to the camera messages open camera phone and settings these are the ones which are allowed only while in use not allowed and then similarly you have allowed all the time so again the stress is on your privacy and google does seem to be following apple then you also have the camera access and microphone access toggles how does this work so let us say i open the open camera application now if i try to access my quick settings here it is you see this this is telling me that something is using my camera so this is a notification which you will get in your status bar and similarly you will have something similar for your mic access as well and then another interesting toggle which they have added is the one for clipboard access so if i go into advanced here is the toggle show clipboard access so this is going to show you a message when an app accesses text or images or other content which you have copied so again pretty nifty feature in my opinion now with respect to the other hardware features on this build for the poco f1 you do have your fingerprint working without any issues now because this is a port from the pixel 5 you of course do not have the option of face unlock other than that if you go into system and then you can go into gestures here you do have your normal gestures now do note that this double tap on the back is not working for the poco f1 and then you also have your normal gesture navigation or the three button go into settings you know the normal sensitivity options but the impressive feature which i found was one handed mode and once you enable this you need to swipe down on the pill and bam there it is one handed mode in the building working without any issues and you can also exit it when you're switching between the applications and you can also choose a timeout as well similarly you also have your prevent ringing and the power menu option so hold for assistant in case you want to and while we are talking about the assistant let us try to activate the assistant lady do note when you activate it for the first time it will download some data from the internet so make sure you do have an active internet connection and once that is done are you awake There it is it did take some time to kick in but are you awake google assistant 2.0 in the building working like a boss i mean what else do you want from a custom rom right android 12 beta 2.1 on the poco f1 google assistant 2.0 in terms of youtube media playback everything works absolutely fine live caption works picture in picture works now with picture in picture android 12 do note you cannot like resize it you have to double tap on the floating window and then it will reach the maximum size so you no longer have to like press and hold and then drag it just double tap on it and you will be good to go safety net let us open the magisk application now do note the device is rooted right now because safety net is not going to pass until and unless you root your device and then you can go into settings enable magisk hide go back and let us check for safety net now of course it did crash which is of course a magisk issue but here it is let us check one more time success in the building and that means you should be able to use your banking apps without any issues next up we can check for the app opening animations so here it is app opening animations on your screen right now as you can see it is pretty smooth and of course as i mentioned earlier you do need to give it some time to settle down and once you do that everything is going to be smooth recents again smooth as always and we can also try to switch between a few applications there it is you can see no jitters and no lags in the ui the next question which i get a lot is is this worth a daily driver so in my opinion if you want to try out android 12 on your poco f1 this is definitely worth a daily driver of course there will be some bugs some niggles do note the base itself is a beta build so 
whatever bugs you have in android beta 2.1 for the pixels those bugs will also be present over here and you might get some other minor issues also which might be because of the fact that this is something which is not supposed to run on your device so rather than you know complain about it i would prefer you to be thankful and enjoy your device enjoy the rom have fun with it and of course do not and i repeat do not forget to read the pinned comment because i do keep on updating it with new findings and stuff so please read the pinned comment and enjoy the rom